talking with State Senator Neil Anderson at the Capitol. And, uh, Senator, just in the last day or so, uh, a number of lawmakers and the director of the Illinois State Police came out and said they want to work on a proposal dealing with Illinois' FOID card system. Everyone knows that uh, the renewal and new applications process is way behind. Uh, what, do you, what did you think of their proposal? Well, I think the proposal's fine. Um, there's, there's some things in the bill that are uh, permissive, so it would be up to the person um, to decide to do those things, such as fingerprinting, things like that. Um, but I think it's a good idea, but the problem still remains that it's not fixing the root problem, which is why I believe we need to talk about my uh, repeal the FOID legislation. The FOID card is, again, it is a blatant assault on people's Second Amendment right to, to protect themselves and to keep and bear arms. So uh, in, in uh, paramedic terms, something I'm very familiar with, it's like uh, putting a Band-Aid on, a, on an artery bleed. Um, it's not going to fix the problem. It's going to slow it down a little bit. But uh, yeah, we need to address the root problem of this. And I would think that if you're going to try to implement a whole new system, that there's going to be natural delays involved in that uh, implementation, and that ha- that has to just add to the delay in the FOID card system. Yeah, again, it's uh, it, it's going to change the way we do things. Again, I don't think it's a bad way to change things if we're you know if they're dead set, which they are on keeping uh, the FOID system, which is why we need to um, address it from the basis, which is completely getting rid of it. It's a redundancy, um, but if this is the way they're going, we're not fixing the problem again. It's it's uh, it's just delaying the inevitable, which is more government adds more bureaucracy. More bureaucracy slows things down, and when we're slowing things down for a constitutional right, that is a problem. And now, you and I have had this conversation numerous times, uh, and you have explained the redundancy. But would you do that again? Yeah, sure. So the redundancy and the hypocrisy of the FOID card is that when I go to purchase a firearm, um, I have to show them my FOID card. Then I go through the federal instant background check. And again, the hypocrisy is is that to get my FOID card, I have to go through the instant federal background check. So it's simple. It's simply a cash grab for the state. And one of the biggest reasons why we're in a delay um, of people getting their FOID cards is because um, the governor has swept the funds that state police use for manpower to process all these cards. So um, a lot of people want to point the finger at state police and say, you know, they're not doing their job, they're not getting it done. Well, the finger actually should be pointed at um, at the majority party and tell them to stop uh, stripping the funds away from state police and let them do their job. And meanwhile, there are, there are other uh, FOID card related bills in the legislature. And I'm thinking of one in particular, which would reduce the number of years the FOID card uh, is uh, effective from 10 to 5, and then double the fees. You were talking about a cash grab earlier. Yeah, and that's uh, one I was referencing earlier. There's there's a bill out there that would um, allow people to get fingerprinted for their FOID card, and then they wouldn't have to renew. It would automatically renew every every 10 years. Uh, and, and if you didn't get it, that would be obviously because um, you did something did something wrong, committed a felony. Which again, it's it's um, it's optional. Uh, the person does not have to go through that. I again, I don't see a big issue with that. Being that it is an option for people to do that, if if they want to do that, um, they can. But again, it's not fixing the root problem. All right, Senator Neil Anderson, thanks. Thank you.